Hello folks, Farmer Envoy here, and this is going to be a short video on corn and chaff and that. And what I want to find out today is, when is it the best time to chaff the corn that? Because corn can be chaffed to make silage at an early stage. As you can see, this has been grown for four months, and it is not fully grown. So if we go into the PDA, look at our growth state. So it is about halfway through the growth state and towards the later half, so... After four months without seasons, the corn gets to this kind of height, and that means it's ready to chaff. So, what I'm going to do is, I've created a small fill section over here, and what I'm going to do is test and see how much we can get, and is there a difference in when you can chaff? Because if you can chaff sooner, and it's worth it, then yeah, well, who means crack on the head and do with it? Or, if we let the corn mature a little bit longer than that, Perhaps we get some more yieldage from in that, so that's going to be the test I'm going to be doing today. So, if he gets six or eight months, corn takes to grow. If he gets eight months, so this is going to require a multiple test in that. So, what I'm going to do is I'll bring folks back in towards the end of when I've done this first test, and then yeah, I'll repeat for five, six, seven till it's fully grown, and then we can compare and contrast my results table at the end. And just see how much chaff we can get, and is it worth doing? But yeah, also just to note, I am not using a slide additive. You know, in my recent video with slide additive test, you do get a 2.95 three percent yield bonus when you're using um, slide additive. But yeah, I'm not going to use that today, as I just want a very brief comparison to see what is the best way to rush you know, what's the best time to chaff the corn in that. And uh, yeah, in another video, I, I will be doing a test on what is the best crop to chaff, but yeah, that's going to be for another video. And I'll see you folks in a short while when I am done here. Test 1 is completed, and overall not too bad, about 400,000 years we've got here in total. But yeah, I'll have an accurate note now once we put this last bit in. And yeah, you know, just grab the front or we'll do that because we did have a slight spillage at the front. So that's 7,000 litres and we have a look. In total we got 394,174 litres. So that is corn chaffed after four months. So I'll note that down, put a table spreadsheet on the end. And yeah, the addition I'm going to do is leave the game, reset, rinse and repeat. Also, the yield bonus was about 95%. That's because of the 5% reduction in yieldage bonus we could have gotten if we limed this field, but I didn't. But anyways, that is four months done. And yeah, what we can do now is do the rest of the testing. And I'll bring folks back once we're done with the table and we'll go over how long should you basically leave your corn to be ready to be chaffed at. My guess, my hypothesis here is just cut it and chaff it after four months, but yeah. Let's go to the results and find out for sure. So, right, testing has been completed and a bit of an interesting result. So, what I'm going to do now is pull up a screenshot. So, feel free to pause the table whilst I go and discuss this. But anyway, so I've got the table up here. So, turns with when you can harvest your corn in that. At least without seasons, it's after six months. So, Start chaffing at four, five, or six months. So after four months, we got 394,174 liters. After five months, we had a 0.81% decrease in yieldage down to 340,984 liters. So, so at 3,200 liters, we lost. Then at six months, when the corn was raised to harvest, I chaffed it and the yield did drop even a little bit more to 388,841 litres. So, compared that to the volume we had at four months, that is a decrease of 1.35%. So, yeah, I'm not too sure to make about that. I think at the end of the day, that's down to possibly, I would say, user error because I did the same thing of when I harvested, I did like one strip, start to come back. When was I at 9%? Filled, I stopped it filled up to about 92%, and then I dumped it over and I repeat that for everything. So, yeah, I think maybe once or twice I have accidentally went to fill, but 
even then, that's recent havoc of what? In total, about a 6,000 year difference? Or 5,300 year difference? So, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Again, nothing like this is good to test that because you never know that. But yeah, so just remember, the yield was 95% bonus, so we didn't do the lime in. But anyway, so yeah, nice little short video, and as always, if you found this test helpful and affordable in some shape or form, if so, smash the button, throw a comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you nice day. But for now, it's be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.